the solar thermal is really uh, quite a, a, a simple uh, heat exchange. Um, the, the tubes are, are black, so they will absorb sunlight, both ultraviolet and uh, infrared. And they have water. Well, actually, it's an antifreeze that then goes through a heat exchanger uh, inside the copper cylinder. So then, as it passes through uh, a copper tube, um, it transfers its heat to the to water that's in the uh, in the uh, copper in the in the cylinder, and then returns up to the roof where it's heated up again by the sun, and round it goes. Obviously, the sun um, sends out a lot of uh, infrared, which is basically uh, heat, and that is transferred directly to heating up the water. With the photovoltaic, it's slightly more complicated because it's turning into electricity, and that is not a direct transfer, and they shouldn't get too hot uh, photovoltaic, whereas the solar thermal should get hot. The solar thermal, I've seen them covered in frost in the morning on a sunny day and by um, sort of 10, 11 o'clock, because a little bit of sun gets through, heats up the, uh, the black um, uh, base of it. So in fact, they, they do heat up as long as the sun shines, doesn't matter how cold it is outside. It's lasted a good long time um, and I have probably recoup the cost of it um, uh, over the years. It's been in for uh, 20 years or so. Um, so uh, yes, I'm perfectly happy, but uh, PV panels have come down in cost a lot, the photovoltaic for producing the electricity. And seeing as the solar thermal is only going to heat up water, um, and we are changing obviously to using electricity for most of our uh, energy needs. I thought probably uh, photovoltaic is the is the way to go these days.